Nothing can move faster than the speed of light, right? Wrong. Today we're going to explore how sound can even travel faster than the speed of light. Come along into the impossible with me, Brian Keating. Sonic boom, baby. Let's do this thing. Imagine a universe where under certain circumstances, sound waves could beat light waves in a race. Today we're exploring just how and where this can happen. Theoretically for now. How is it possible that sound can travel faster than light? It sounds impossible, but we're used to going into the impossible. And today we're going to discover some surprising scenarios where light can travel slower than sound. It'll make you rethink the fastest things in the universe. Einstein showed that nothing can move faster than the speed of light. That is when it comes to transmitting information. But he didn't ever say that light itself couldn't slow down. And in fact, that's how glasses and even telescopes work. When light travels through a medium, it slows down. In vacuum, light zips along at nearly 300,000 kilometers per second. But what happens when it hits different materials like lenses or liquids? When light goes through materials, strange things can happen. In fact, that's how fiber optics work. We can transmit information from London to New York City under the ocean using light because light stays internally reflected inside of these fiber optic encasings shown here. Well, when light moves through other types of objects called photonic crystals, things change dramatically. The speed of sound depends on air pressure, density, and temperature. And when something travels through a medium faster than the speed of sound, you get a sonic boom. The speed of sound can increase as sound waves propagate through a medium. That's why underwater in a pool, you can hear things much, much quicker than you can hear it on land. Whales use this phenomenon to communicate and dolphins underwater. They can communicate incredibly quickly, and that's how sonar works as well to detect underwater submarines that you can't see by pinging off, literally, sound waves and sound energy off of objects underneath the water and then timing how long it takes for them to come back. The Navy has to take into account the density and the pressure and the salinity of the water and even waves and all sorts of other phenomena. But in general, the speed of sound always goes up. Well, that made me think. If sound speed goes up in a material and light speed goes down in a material, could there be a crossover point where light and sound would have the same speed? And in fact, that light could travel slower than sound in a medium. In certain exotic media called Bose-Einstein condensates, light can slow down to just a mere 36 kilometers per second, faster than Usain Bolt and faster than a jet, but nowhere near the speed of light in vacuum. In 1988, a team at Harvard University and the Roland Institute for Science succeeded in slowing a beam of light down to just 17 meters per second. That's getting very close to what Usain can run at. In the Harvard experiment, light was slowed down to about 17 meters per second by passing through a supercooled cloud of sodium atoms. The light was slowed through the process of electromagnetically induced transparency, where the optical properties of the atoms were manipulated drastically to reduce the group velocity of the light poles. This value is 17 million times slower than the typical speed of light in the vacuum. Now, can sound outpace light? So the question of whether or not sound waves can be supported in these same exotic materials like Bose-Einstein condensates is a good one. For now, these mediums are just a curiosity, but it's incredible to think that scientists have actually succeeded to slow down the fastest traveling wave in the universe, light waves. What are the applications of these things? In 2005, IBM created a microchip that can slow down light, potentially paving the way towards commercial applications for computing and other forms of quantum computing, not using ultra cold molecules, but using light as a quantum computer. While these concepts challenge our everyday experiences, they open up fascinating new questions about the fundamental nature of light and sound in our universe. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview, no pun intended, of how light and sound can meet and sound can outpace light. What other scientific truths would you like to uncover in this channel? Click here for my conversation with Bill Phillips, who won the Nobel Prize for making extremely precise and extremely cold optical clocks using Bose-Einstein condensates. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video with your friends.